hello everyone welcome to papa's sky channel so in today's video we are going to learn about confluence and how to integrate the confluence with jira and primarily we will be focusing on how we can onboard the jira matrix and the dashboard on the confluence so let's begin and if you are new to the channel do subscribe on this channel and refer my previous video on the jira and other scrum related stuff so first you need to see uh, if your, your confluence is configured with jira or not so you can click on this jira software options and you can see the confluence has to be configured with your organization for example uh, my organization name is papa sky where all my jira project is configured and i have incorporated a confluence over there similarly you can check uh, mostly most of the organization support the confluence so it, it will come with the jira and if it is not there uh, you can configure the confluence so uh, once you are in the confluence what you can do that just click on that okay so this is my confluence page which has, which has been opened and first time if you are opening you will be seeing all the blank nothing will be there so we'll be starting the confluence page creation from the scratch so for creating the page in the confluence you need to click on the create option click on page okay first you need to give the meaningful name of your page for example your team name is uh, i'm giving my team name over here for example my team name is alight mart let's go team once you give your team name what you can do that first you have to publish the page so it will be visible to the others team member so you can see the publish option in the right hand side click on it and here it is giving you the option where you want to publish those things so you can see Currently, this page I am putting under my uh, organization under the overview pages. You can have a multiple options over there. So currently, I am publishing under the overview, under which, which which will show like that under my browse. It will be under a light mart team. Hit on publish. Okay. Once you have published the page, what we need to do the next thing is we need to onboard the take example of I have a one matrix on the Jira which is talking about the all the defects which is open for my team member and I want to onboard those matrix or dashboard in the confluence so within my organization my management or people from the leadership team people from the different team they will be having the access on the confluence page and they can see what's the status of uh, those defects so that's what that's a use case which we are trying to achieve over there so before onboarding the dashboard in the confluence you need to ensure that you have a filter written for that so first what we'll do we'll create a filter for a defect so we'll go to the jira and the jira will go to the issue section and the issue section what we are trying to do we are trying to first create a filter for a jira so you select your project take example for me already my project is papa sky and the type i want to onboard all the bugs and the status i want all the status so if you want all the status you can keep it like that and if you want to select some particular state you can select based on this uh, checkbox you want to onboard all those things you can also apply a few more filter like you want to see the defect which is on an assigned states or based on the different team member assignees once you have configured those option over there click on save filter and give the meaningful name of your filter i am giving like Papa sky defect list you can give the description about your uh, defect list what is this checklist about what is the description underneath and then what you can do you can see the two option over here a viewer under the viewer if you are keeping the private other team members 
or other people from different team cannot see the uh, your this filter so i always make it organization and click on add so whoever in your organization having the access on jira they can leverage your filters and in the editor right you can keep with you or either you can share with our different users also for example i want to share this uh, editor right to one of my team member also so i select i find this team member name or it he can be uh, the product owner or your project managers or the scrum masters similarly you can add the multiple team members name hit on save cool so now you can see you have a filter saved papa sky underscore defect list which is having all the defects which is created for this project now what we'll do uh, this defect list in the form of a chart maybe the pie chart let's explore the pie chart first i want to onboard directly on the confluence so what i'll do i'll go to the confluence now now you can see the plus option over here which is showing the insert click on it and here you need to search the gadget so just search gadget over there so you can find n number of jira gadget over here which is appearing so for example first i want to create the pie chart over there so once you click on this you are seeing the filter option here in the filter option you find the query just now which we have written which was purpose sky underscore defect list right so if you have saved the query properly it will appear here otherwise it won't appear here so i'm selecting that query what i want to see then this pie chart you can see based on the different metrics so for example one i want to see based on the assignee so let it be assignee refresh interval here is the catch it is giving me the option that how you want to refresh this matrix right in the confluence so if you keep it neighbor it means uh, it is not uh, the first time the matrix which you has configured always it will be same the data is not going to change me mainly it means it's a static matrix but i want to make this matrix as a dynamic and i'm saying either in 15 minutes or 30 minutes or one or two hours it will be automatically refreshing so at a, whenever i come to the confluence uh, or the another team member or organization come to the conference they can see the latest update so i am selecting the option as 15 minutes click on save let's see the matrix is coming or not and i am clicking on the save correct now you can see how nicely the one of the matrix has been came over here which is a pie chart which is talking about currently i am having a total 23 issues and it's 23 issues i am uh, six is assigned to prashant seven is an ally is remaining is five this is how you can onboard the matrix in the uh, confluence from the jira directly let's try to configure few more matrix So what we'll do, we'll create one more matrix. Maybe I want to create a matrix based on the status of this bugs. So again, what I'll do, I'll search the gadget. Then I look for a pie chart. Once I have a pie chart, I have a filter already put over there. I'll search my filter. now this time instead of assigning i want to see my report based on the status so i'll search the status refresh interval i'll keep it 15 minutes and i'll hit on the save see so how nicely the another dashboard which has been onboarded on the confluence which is talking about which is talking about how what's the status of each bug for example seven issues are in progress testing there are four in the block there are threes and total issues is 23 and then you need to click on the update option once you click on the update this nicely dashboard come over there another good point of the confluence is there you can see this total 
issues 23 option it's a clickable link when i say clickable link means if you click on that it will redirect you directly on the jira so you can directly see those defect lists in the jira also so this is how the confluence is configured with the jira and then in the right hand side you can see the option of a share so you have two option either you can click on share and you can add the team member over here for example, if I'm adding the team member, oh, this is the my team, which is the Papa Sky team, where you can see the four member is there. If I click on that member over there, what will happen? And if I'm clicking on the share, automatically this team member will be having the access on this matrix in the confluence. So that's the one way to share. Another way to that, what you can do, just you can click on the copy link, and this link you directly you can share with the team members or other people within your organization so this is all what you can do you can configure the matrix in the jira and from the jira you can configure the matrix in the uh, confluence pages then again if you click on the edit options okay then you will be having a multiple option which you can see over there like for example currently what i have done i have created a two uh, columns over there so this two columns which you can see in one column i have one matrix and another column what i want to do i want to put this matrix like that so it will be more organized so how we are organizing this thing you can see the option over there layouts so what we need to do that you just need to click on the layouts and you can see in the layout if you want to have a matrix and two columns you can select two if you want to have a three columns this is how you can configure the matrix on the layouts and suppose in this layout what i want to do i want to onboard one more matrix on the defect but this time i want not a gadget i want a gadget as a two dimensional matrix which will give me the different perspective on the defect instead of a uh, pie chart so i'll search for a gadget first and then i'll try to search a two dimensional filter statistics which is here right so again what i'll do here i'll search my filter okay what i want now here in the x axis i want to see what is the status of those works and in y axis i want to see based on the assign uis who is working on what and maximum result for example i want 50 and refresh interval should be 15 minutes short direction either you can keep in the ascending order descending orders click on save again you can click on the save Now you can see how nice matrix has been come over here which is giving me the two dimensional view of the defects okay let's expand more right so what you can see you can see over here in this matrix it is talking about uh, these are the assignees who is working on the defects and currently the status of the defect again click on the update option Once you click on the updates, then again uh, you can see those matrix share with your team member. And as I mentioned before, this is clickable. When I say clickable, for example, I want to see this assignee number one, uh, how many item which I see V three item that blocked. I want to see what are those defects. So I'll just click on that. Yeah, this is how it can show the status of the block and what is this issue about. So this is the one way to configure the matrix in the confluence directly from the Jira. There are a number of more uh, reports which we can configure in the confluence like retrospection or project scope plan, which, which we are going to discuss on the our upcoming videos. So for today, this is it guys, how we can configure the matrix from Jira to complex directly. And let us know how, how, how this video is adding the value and if you uh, did not subscribe my channel already do subscribe my channel 
also apart from this uh, confluence we have a n number of series on the jira matrix or jira configuration from the scratch also on the azure devsops and we also do have some digital products which is talking about uh, scrum master interview preparations or the jira complete setup ads setup which is there in my linkedin profile so if you did not see those already just have a look at it and stay tuned for my upcoming videos thanks everyone